So I'll just make a little quick video. I'm feeling a little emotional today. My, um, I found out this morning that one of my coworkers died, and I'm just kind of one of those moods where I'm feeling real, you know, I'm feeling sad. I mean, I just saw the guy like a couple days ago. I gave him a report at work, and I got a text that he had passed away, and he was in his 60s. He was early 60s, but his health was good, so I haven't found out exact details on it, but I'm feeling a little bit sad about it. Um, but I just had, you know, I've been thinking about stuff. I've been thinking about, you know, I was listening to G-Man interview. Really great. I'm going to listen to the rest of them later. But I really like him. He um, He's the kind of guy who just, you know, he's just, he's real. I, I like that. I love that about people. I love people that are real. He's not not trying to pull one over, you know. This whole thing with the the power of this people telling their stories is just so huge, and I really hope he keeps going with that. Um, get more and more interviews, and I, I think it's funny, but uh, the the interviews I well it, the stuff I find really interesting are just regular people because there really is no such thing as a regular person, right? I mean, everybody has an amazing story to tell just their their life you know and, and and everybody's story is different and unique be, for them and what i wanted to say is that you know what people are really missing in life is love they're missing that love from god in their heart and i was missing it i didn't know you know i had no idea that that's what i was missing i was a seeker i spent my whole life looking for something you know uh, I remember even as a kid just wanting something, you know, wanting a connection, wanting something. And I would try to, you know, get, you know, uh, be with friends with people or, you know, when you're a kid, it's all about who, you, you know, your your friends and and all that. And then, you know, you get older and you start doing, um, you just look, you're looking for it. You're looking for it somewhere. You know, the, um, uh, like like G-Man was looking for it with gambling. Um, so many people are looking for it. It, it. Just even basic consumerism is is founded on the principle that if you just buy what we have, you're gonna be you're gonna be happy, right? You're gonna you're gonna be happy. But the reality is, only having God in your heart. That's the only thing that's gonna make you happy. And um, anyway, I've been blessed and I mean blessed and I'm so grateful for this uh, this meditation program that I'm doing it, it it came to me through YouTube and through a YouTube guy and um, I'm, I'm just like blessed beyond belief that I that I have this information and I feel that love in my heart now and it's something that um, it's almost like you can't believe you never had it, but once you have it, you're like, okay, I'm never letting this go. I'm never letting it go. Um, I even told my wife the other day, I said, I don't even care. I'm, she, she doesn't do it. She, I don't even talk to her about it much, but I told her the other day, I said, I, I, would, I, I will go live under a bridge before I would give this up. I, wouldn't, I, would, I would give up everything material I have to uh, keep this love in my heart. And the truth is you don't have to, that's the part that's great is you don't have to give up anything. You can have both. And as a matter of fact, you really should have both. You should have, you know, it's, uh, the Babaji in his book talks about it's, it's two wing, the two wings on a bird, the spiritual wing and the material wing. You, you need both of those things to fly. And so, um, uh, it's just, I'm just so grateful and the master finds you. And, you know, when people hear the master, they're thinking of um, uh, like a hierarchy. But the truth is, the master is the servant. They're the ultimate servant. They are serving the people who are, that they're helping. It's, it's like a Sherpa uh, or mountain climbing team, you know. And they're helping the climbers get up the, the hill, you know, Mount Everest. And the, they have these Sherpas, and their job is to serve the people who are, you know, to help them get to the top. Their only goal is to get that person to the top. And without the Sherpas, 
really, honestly, most of these people would not be able to climb Mount Everest. There's too much gear to carry. There's too much work to do. They physically just don't have it in them. But these people are acclimated to that high altitude. And that's what these masters are. They're, they're acclimated to this high altitude and they're able to, to basically able to come down and help lift, help lift people up. And there's rare people who are able to do it on their own. I'm not one of those people. And um, I'm just grateful to have this. And I just wanted to share that about the master being the servant. They're, the, they're actually serving us. And it's just such an amazing thing. And I'm just so grateful.